It's a showdown! You're going down. No! You! You! Hey, I, I owe you all an apology because when I made pumpkin pie the other day, I said pumpkin pie is the only kind of pie and pizza, but also shepherd's pie. And pot pie, really. Pot pie is great, but shepherd's pie is really good. And you can learn how to make it two ways! <laughs> oh! Bob Lane is gonna make a vegan shepherd's pie. Yeah. Which sounds weird! I'm gonna make a regular one with only limited effort. I'm also gonna make vegan gravy for you using this cauliflower. We're gonna share a batch of potatoes, but we're gonna make them differently. Yeah. But you forgot to boil potatoes first. These are golden Yukon, and if you wanna retain some nutrition at the expense of creaminess, don't peel them. Just boil them in a pot. If you're not overly familiar with boiling potatoes, I recommend that you put the potatoes in the pot first and then fill it up with water. Also, you should wash your potatoes, so maybe just give them a little spray and then dump out that water. You don't need that much water, you dingus, but you need more than that. Alright. Put on a stove and turn the fire on, see what happens. Hi. Hello. And some salt. Okay, we'll be back when they're done boiling. Yeah, I want a beer. Yeah, I want the Eagle Vice. Eagle Vice! Did you just go up my nose? Anyway, I'm gonna prepare my. Careful, Phil, she has a knife. <laughs> oh god, I <laughs> stab! I always have a knife. Anyway, uh, uh, oh, I'm making shepherd's pie. So shepherd's pie, it's a base layer of peas and corn, and then you put meats on top of that layer, and then mashed potatoes on top of that, and you make some gravy and you cover it in gravy after you bake the shepherd's pie casserole. There's no crust in this pie. It's, I guess, not really a pie, but it's delicious. I got this kind of vegan meatless Crumbles. It comes in a weird bag, which I'm gonna. Okay, and okay, I'm I'm lighting the stove. Okay, someone crumble up my crumb my crumbles here. They're really crumbly. Okay. Oh good lord. Mmm. Food bricks. <laughs> oh, Processed man. food. Okay. I'm gonna. I made some broth out of this no no chicken. I'm just gonna pour like a little bit into here. Get that sizzling. Nice. Yeah. That was um, a half a cup of bread. And this is really easy. You just wanna basically saute it until it stops being a cold brick of processed food and resembles a ground beef type product. That's it for now. I'm chopping a shallot. I kind of like shallots better than other kind of onions. I think they're cuter. Well, I'm going to put some in with the meat and I'm going to save some for my gravy. But right now I'm going to chop the whole thing for preparation. Good lord. Good grief. Get out of there. It's like a shallot within a shallot. That's how these things work. Good gravy. Here's some shallots. I probably should have done this beforehand. It doesn't really matter to me. I don't care because I'm into nihilism. But you might have done this first. Oh yeah, getting a little little brown. Don't let your your fake meat burn. Don't be like me. I'm gonna add some more wrath. Oh no! I'm burning it. Good old Marlena. Turn that down a little bit. And shh. Yeah. I have something to say. If you just burn your food, maybe it's time for yeah. a drink. <gasps> Thanks. It's a healthy swig. Oh, yeah. I'm also gonna put a giant glob of my favorite vegan buttery spread in here because I want this to be greasy. Again, you could have done this sooner. Wow, that's a lot of butter. Yum. Yeah, so greasy. Where's that some garlic? Did Phil already get garlic that was garlic? Nice. Everybody knows how to chop garlic already. Phil showed them a lot. I'm gonna put this much. No, this much. It's slippery. Mm. Phil bought us a poultry pack which contained rosemary, um, sage, and thyme and sage. I'm gonna put a little bit of each into my meats. Tear it apart with my little fingers. Yeah. Da, 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 da. I have a bad habit of putting in too much rosemary, so I'm just gonna take yeah. just, just a taste. Yeah, just a splash for the flavor. So all together, that was like a cup, and maybe two teaspoon, two ta uh, two tablespoons probably of Earth Balance. Yeah. 
It's on low heat right now. Well, I'm just gonna put some, some pepper onto here because um, no meat analog would be complete without black pepper. So this just cooks till it gets a little brown in some parts of it. Crisp, I mean, it's already brown, but I mean, crispy, and then, then it's good to go, and we'll save it for later for our shepherd's pie. So we're done cooking this for now. If you wanted to make it crispier than this, you could, but um, for the sake of time and for sharing with Phil so that he makes a fine shepherd's pie, I will secede the stove to him. So it's just gonna sit over here until I put it into my casserole pan on top of the bed of peas and corn. Oh, I never made it. Gonna make right. it. I look at like ten different recipes. Not following any of them. I'm a, I'm a maverick. Cool. John Maverick. Got a little beef, a little beef, a little ground beef. Medium heat. And uh, cook it in a pan. <laughs> okay. Out of pound. Maybe a little more. I'm gonna throw some butter in there too. I'm chopping some onion. Some diced onion. Half of a small onion. Chop some shallots. That's the brain. What? You were using it? I need that. Oh, sorry. Okay. I used half of it. Give it back. Here you go. Oh. I'm sorry. Whatever. Clean yeah! Good. You shall it stubs! Yeah. yeah! I got this little garlic here. I'm just gonna smash it. Rup chop, rup chop. What a, who cares? Man, I'm gonna use frozen vegetables. And a lot of people are like, oh, you I just never cook like you. You do all the chopping. Well, you can use frozen vegetables once in a while. Nope. All right. Vegetables. Mine are fresher yeah. and more nutritious. Mine are gonna be cooked better. Cool. Doubt it. Still didn't know what he's doing. That's true, I don't. All right. But I'm a maverick. Reinventing the shepherd's pie, one ingredient at a time. I feel like I just went like inside the top of my head. I'm gonna get the, the grease out of this and make a, a little saucy sauce out of it once it cooks. I'm gonna take the, the grease from this and put it in a different pan. To um, move my meat to the side gracefully. Get most of that in there. Most of it. Okay. Turn our meat down to low. We'll, we'll deal with that in a minute. I'm gonna make a gravy sauce out of it. I'll uh, start heating the grease up. I'm gonna put the beef in a bowl. So I can cook my vegetables. Okay. This in this pan. I add a little bit of butter and I'll start cooking our veggies. You don't have to really cook them a whole lot because everything's gonna get cooked in the oven as well. Garlic and onion. Once it heats up, we'll add some frozen veggies. And I'm gonna make, I, I'm pretty sure in Shepherd's Pie, you like just add like a little ketchup or something, the intermix. I'm gonna make like a gravy thing. So we're gonna whisk in a little flour. That grease is getting bubbly. Stand back, stand back. This is, this is dumb. <laughs> I'm doing this stupidly. Trying to incorporate this tomato sauce into the grease. I think oh, I made no. a mistake. But it's too late now. We can only go forward. All right, a little flour. Oh man, look at that. It's already saucifying. Shit, that's gonna be good. There's no mistakes in baseball. Frozen veggies! Yeah! Oh, you're using carrots and green beans? Yeah! Additional nutrition! Look how hard Ooh. Phil's working, and look at how I'm cool. done. Cool. I'm like crazy Phil over here. I got a can of peas and a can of corn. I rinsed them really great. I didn't use all of them. You can see some of it's left over here. But I just made a nice little base layer, and I'm gonna put just a little pep. I didn't even have to cook these, because they came out of a can. I don't even have to worry about it. A little pep, a little salt, that's that. And that's ready for me to put my meat layer on top of it. Bam. I'm gonna put everything together in a second. Do these vegetables, a little flippy poo, and our sauce. That looks yummy. And the beef. Mm. I'm gonna say right now I'm winning. Yeah. In your <laughs> dreams. My gravy's gonna be Okay, here's my filling for the pie. <laughs> you use my dish! That's <laughs> oh, right. I don't want this. I'll trade. Be back. Nope, too late now. Uh, 350. We probably need to do like 400. Mm -hmm. Oven. Preheat the oven 400. Dump your good shit in here. Spread her out. Looks pretty good to me. We'll see. And we will top with mashed potatoes when the potatoes are done, which could be years. Wow. So be right back. Okay, so I got my nice layer of peas and corn that came right out of the can. I rinsed them, laid them down. There's some leftover salt and pepper. Now I'm just gonna layer on top of this. This is hard for me. I don't like this. Okay, okay. Okay. All right, that's good. That's good. 
Okay, all I'm doing right now is I'm gonna saute some shallots and garlic that I chopped up in some of my vegan butter so that I can put it into my potatoes. I also have just the littlest bit of rosemary and I'm even gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pepper it just a little bit because I can. I'm cooking, I'm cooking. Potatoes done, pour them on in there. Okay, so we're gonna split these potatoes to make our own mashed potatoes for our own shepherd's pie. Uh, Shouldn't okay. you guys have to fight over the potatoes? Oops. I'm okay. You're a little burnt because I turned off the wrong burner. Oh, no. Whoops. Whatever. I'm using this kind of nut milk. Original unsweetened. I shake it really good so it's not weird or anything. So just a little bit to start out. Thanks. You can go first because yours a vegan. Yeah. Oh, okay, cool. Potatoes. Hotly like steals a potato. Fine. All right. Here's all the help she can get. Cool. Um, will you take me to Salted Town? It's getting a little creamy. A little more milk. Oh, it's getting creamy. So oh yeah, it's getting a little creamy. They're just never salty enough, you know. I think I want to put some garlic powder in here. Yeah, garlic. Make potatoes the same way I make beans. I'm not that good at potatoes. Yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah, this is not that interesting at all. Do you need the masher anymore? No, I don't. I'm no. definitely done with I it. I want to make my potatoes. Season my potatoes with garlic powder, salt, pepper, just to taste. Make it as creamy as you want with your almond milk product. Just go slow because I recently made some potatoes that were too creamy. Anyway, carry on. Potato time, you know how we, how we do. We did this. At a different time, about a year ago actually. Throwing in some butter. This is our skin on. It's different from the last time we did it. I, I highly advocate not using whole potatoes such as we did. This is stupid. We're idiots. Whoopsie. And I regret everything. So half and half. Some. Yeah, it's a textural thing, so you gotta kinda squish it on up. This guy. <laughs> sakes, what the f Elena. The sabotage you again. Yeah. <laughs> My oven. What the? F <laughs> Dirty man. I do nothing. I'm just gonna make a nice little layer of potatoes. Yeah. Plenty. White pepper. Lord forbid you use black pepper. In potatoes specifically. Hmm. Potatoes. Garlic powder. All right. I'm gonna add a little more cream because I think that. Uh, we want them just a little bit creamier for our purposes, specifically because we're gonna try to spread it over the top. You do what you gotta do. I'm gonna just have a little layer, just a little, just a little salt on top of here, and just a little more garlic powder because garlic is very important to me. Beautiful, beautiful. Yeah. Potatoes, meat analog, peas and corn. The world's greatest pie. And I already know it's not gonna come out looking like beans. That was a good one. Putting the potatoes on top. So I'm spreading my potatoes. I'm gonna make them taste nice. I wanna seal the edges. I put a little bit of ro rosemary on top for looks. And flavor. Beautiful. I'm gonna, I'm gonna make a sculpture. But I got a little extra potatoes. It's a sculpture. Oh, Don't worry, I'm a professional. We'll put that in at the end. Just gotta put them in the oven. We want a little brown on top. And then we'll see. The best shepherd pie is me. Cause I didn't really want vegan pie. You don't want my pie? I want to try it, but not forever. You know. <laughs> put your pie in a stove. Oven. Yours looks like a little tiny boat. And mine looks like delicious. Yours looks dumb. You're dumb. We'll see. Okay. Oh, oh no! no! Yeah! It's just beef vapors. Well, uh, I'm gonna pull mine. Leave mine alone. I'm moving it over. Well, oh well. Nothing to see here. Oh no. <laughs> Mine's done. It's not the prettiest. But is it the best? Yes. Cool. No. Oh my god. The crab. Took it out of the oven. And it's nice and it's got a crust to it. Ow! 
<laughs> I am trying Phil's and I think it's good. Yeah. How would you rate it? I don't have anything to compare it to. I need a sense of perspective. Slathered? Slathered and gravy. I gotta say, I went into this expecting to like Phil's better, but I gotta give it to Marlena. She has a better potato filling ratio than the gravy. Yay! Yay! I won! Even though I made gravy out of cauliflower. <laughs> Everyone loves it. Which I was very suspicious of. I don't like either of them or this dish. <laughs> I'm never making it again. But that's how you do it. That's not how you do it. We didn't. It sucked. I didn't like them. But 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 that's how you do it. F off. Oh man. <laughs> Spin the dreidel! <laughs>